thank you for joining me for today's workout. This week we're gonna be doing things a little bit different. I'm gonna separate our upper body muscle groups into two different days. So today we are going to be focusing on chest, shoulders, and triceps. We will hit some legs and a little bit of stretching on Wednesday and Friday. We will come back to the upper body for back and biceps. We're gonna to start toning the upper body and really working on these fitness goals. Today I do, I have my hand weights, anywhere from one to 10 pounds, depending on what feels good for you, is gonna work great. You can have a couple different sets. I also have my exercise band that is gonna help us get into some of these chest movements that we're just not able to do with the hand weights. If you do not have one, that is okay. I have modifications for you, you are covered. If you do have a band and you have a chair that will allow you to slide that band through, I'm just gonna kind of make a loop here at the top. I'm gonna take my handles and slide it through, just creating a really nice little knot here. So it's gonna kind of anchor this to the chair. If the back of your chair does not have that option available for you, do not worry about it. I have you covered in that situation also. Go ahead and get set up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. I am only three subscribes away from, from my monthly goal of April, so if you haven't subscribed yet, I would absolutely appreciate it. It would mean the world to me. If you have subscribed, it still means the world to me. Thank you so much. Get set up. We're gonna get moving in just a second. All right, hopefully you are all set up. We are ready to go. We're gonna get into our resistance moves here in just a second. We have to warm you up. My band is anchored to the back of my chair. Handles are down to the sides and my hand weights are underneath the chair. For now, we'll get to those in a minute. Let's go ahead and start warming up. So we're gonna inhale, take those arms all the way up overhead and reach those fingertips out for the opposite wall as you do this. Hug those abs in and then exhale, pull those elbows down and back towards the wall behind you without pushing the stomach forward and arching the low back. So again, inhale, exhale. Very good, lengthening through these chest muscles. Keep going with me here, exhale, inhale, and exhale. We'll take one more of these, inhale all the way up. Lengthen, exhale through the chest. Now this time, send those hands back and you're gonna cross those arms over and just swing. Alternate which hand is on the top and this is kind of a back stretch. Backs of the shoulders, cross and open. Hopefully, I'm not banging on the microphone here. Good, yours can be a little bit bigger than mine. Just, unless you're wearing a microphone also, then maybe keep it small. Good, right arm. We're gonna take some circles forward and you can lean to the left side or you can stay upright, whatever feels better. Just rotating and moving through the shoulder. See how it feels today, hopefully. Nice and healthy, circles back. So now opening up more through the front of the shoulder and the chest. We're not going for a certain number. So just whatever feels good here, a couple more seconds. You can slow it down, speed it up. And then same thing on the left side, circle that forward as big as you can get it while keeping it comfortable. Watch out for the back of your chair. Don't smash into anything and take that back, thumb back, open up through the chest. Notice that my body is not turning with my arm, it's just the arm. My body is still facing forward, my core is pulled in, nice and tight. And I wanna get into the shoulders just a little bit more. So we're gonna take the left hand all the way up and press the right hand back. As you do this, you'll have a little bit of a stretch through the tricep in the back but the right shoulder right here in the front, lifting that arm back, and then just swing through nice and easy, and switch straight arms. 
don't start bending the arms, trying to get a bigger movement. No arching through the back. We will end today with a nice stretch also. It's really tempting to skip the stretches because you are done with the workout. You feel like you're ready to move on with the day, but mobility and flexibility really does have a lot to do with your fitness. So if you have the time, please stick around for the stretches. It will also help you, give me a couple shoulder rolls here. Stretching will also help you get rid of some of that muscle soreness and re-lengthen those muscles. So there's a lot of benefit there to them. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. If you were able to anchor your band to the back of your chair, you're already ready to go. If you were not able to anchor that to the chair, I want you to kind of take it under the arms and it's gonna be the same posture I have here, under the arms and lean back on it. Or you can even sit on the band. Now, these bands do have a tendency, they can roll up behind you. So if you have long hair, be very aware of where your band is. Make sure that you have a nice good press on it. We're gonna take our hands a nice flat wrist, so no bending in the wrists. As we push up, you can kind of see there, we don't want this here. Straight wrist, prevent issues in that joint later on. We're gonna press up and together, release slow. If this is too easy, you can take those hands back and grab further back on your band and increase the resistance. Or if you have a heavier band, you can swap out there too. So up and together. Good, flat hands still, so all those knuckles are facing forward. Release, slow. So we're pushing against tension and we're resisting the pull of the tension on the way back. Very good. Now we are gonna be working on a little bit of endurance here, so I want you to hang tight with me here on this one for four more. Nice slow pace, three, good. We have a one more and trust me, give them a quick little break. I'm not excited for this either, but it's gonna be awesome, right? Open and close right here. So right out here, you're not gonna feel a whole lot of work. Up here at the top, you should feel high chest muscles squeezing together and really kind of focus on that. Again, pushing against the resistance and then allowing ourselves to resist it on the way back. Good, so we're coming together with a little bit more power and releasing nice and slow. <laughs> My feet are going crazy, this is tough. Hang in there, you've got this. Halfway there, more than halfway there. Good, three, keep your form, keep your pace. Two, last one, make it a good one. Don't cheat it, release slow. Beautiful job, drop that down, quick. Little shake out, drink of water if you need it. Grab your hand weights. We will move in to shoulders here. Good, all right. So sit back in your chair and you're almost gonna lean back. As we lean back, we're not slouching. You still have your core engaged and those shoulders are open back. Spine is nice and tall. And we're just gonna draw these weights up right off the shoulders. And again, really slow. So against resistance and then resisting it on the way down. Very good, breathe. Give me a little pause there at the top. Hopefully they're getting a little tired. I feel my feet tapping. <laughs> it's a good sign, I'm getting tired. Three more here. Lower, slow, it makes such a big difference. 
to hug those abs in. And one, beautiful job. Take that down, take one of these weights underneath your chair and we're gonna hold this weight here, just one hand weight, so we're decreasing the weight by half, but I want you to stay right here in the center. So we are not lowering all the way and we are not lifting all the way. Again, working on that endurance. Hug those abs in. Very good. Give me a little pause, Just keep it slow. Beautiful job, four more, three, two, and one. Amazing, shake those arms out. They should definitely feel warm. Maybe even on fire right here in the front. Awesome job. Okay, now we are going to take this weight and we're gonna bring it up and back. So you're leaning back into your chair, but you need to make sure that those hips are heavy and you're not pushing back into your chair. You do not want it to fall behind you. Lower this weight, lift with a little bit of power, squeeze through the backs of the arms. Good. You can even sit up nice and tall if that feels comfortable. Press these hands, really work through the backs of the arms here. Now for our triceps and for some of our other moves, they don't always work alone. The triceps and the chest really are the pushing muscles and the tricep extends the forearm, so it straightens the arm in an outward motion, they work together. So a lot of times if we work these muscles together in that complementary relationship, we can get really strong, beautifully developed muscles, but also muscle relationships where they perform tasks well together. You have just two more here and release that. Okay, give those hands a quick little shake, quick little break for the elbows and stuff. We're going right back to that and you guessed it, keeping that exact same movement, not all the way up, not all the way down, right here in the middle. So if you can see me here from the side, right here. Hug those elbows, biceps in towards the ears. It doesn't have to touch. Just keep them close. Don't start letting them get wide. You got this. Very good. Focus on your breath. Run through that checklist in the body. How is your neck? Make sure you are not pushing the chin forward. Shoulders are out of the ears. Abs are hugged in, feet are pressed into the floor, you have a really nice solid base. Right here, right in the middle. All this tension on these muscles for four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, okay, set that one underneath the chair. We're gonna be moving around a little bit more today than we normally do. So, grab your handles again, or take that band under the hips, or behind the back and press it forward. You can do this with hand weights also. I forgot to mention it on the first one. I am so sorry. I'm sure you figured it out that the hand weights went up and together. If you do not have a band, slide those hips forward and give me a chest press here with those weights. It's gonna be really hard to press out and together here with the band. Another modification, you can also take one hand weight slide it out and in. If you do have your band, you got a little bit of an extra break there. Here we go, hands come forward, same thing. No bending in through the wrist. If you look down, you should see a nice straight line from the top of the hand into the forearm. Press it forward and together. We are not coming up overhead. So when you press out, 
The second and third knuckles are right off of the shoulder. Hands are together for a little bit of extra work. Good, push against that resistance, lower back even. Elbows in our back position are again right off of the shoulder. So we're always looking for this nice stacking of the joints in our beginning posture and our end, keeping good form there. If it is not enough work, you can alternate and cross one hand over the other. That extra little cross is gonna get into those middle chest muscles just a little bit more. It's optional. It's all optional, but hang in here. Hug those abs in, shoulders out of the ears, neck nice and tall. Push, resist the pull on the way back. Good, give me two more good ones here. Last one, release. Don't let those go far, we're coming back to it. Just give it a little break there. Big in the chest muscles today, I love it. So instead of the handles being to the sides or side to side, we're gonna take them up and down and you're gonna give me a little half press and you can lean forward so that that band is a little bit easier to move around the body. And you can kind of take it out slightly diagonal if it, you feel like it's rubbing against you funny. Halfway out, halfway in. So these arms are always working. Your shoulders are in here a little bit as well. Not all the way out, not all the way in. Lots of work. You can even give me a pulse here with the both of them. Little extra work there. I'll take the extra work option. I'll set a good example. Beautiful job. Even if you are leaning forward, abs are hugged in, hips are heavy in the chair. Stay with me here. I feel it too. Five, four, three, two, one. Push them out, surprise. Lower in, really, really slow. Working against the pull of our band. Normally that's a really easy movement because the band pulls you back. We wanna control that release, taking it back in, very good. Shake out those chest muscles a little bit back to the shoulders. So grab your hand weights, two of them. Very good. And then we're gonna bring them up. Goal post arms, elbows, and this is, uh, this is gonna be a big one. You're pretty much home free with the shoulders after this one, but goal post arms, you can decrease the weight if you need to. We're gonna bring them up and together and back down looking for a 90 degree Bend in those arms, tight core, feet into the floor, let's go. Good, up with a little bit of power, down, resisting the weights, even though we're not using these bands, gravity is gonna pull these weights down, you go against that. Very good. Nice and strong here. If they get too heavy, if you feel like you're starting to strain and you're not able to keep good form, you just decrease these weights or no weights at all. Two more here. Last one. Very good, take that down. Give them a brief Brief, brief break here, about just about five, four, three, two more seconds. Pick them back up, halfway up, halfway down, right here, tension. You're not able to rest at the top or at the bottom. Form is good, hug those abs in, shoulders out of the ears. Breathe. Five, 
four, slow pulses, three, two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful job. Give them a little bit of a break. Do not let these hand weights go very far. You can wiggle out anything that needs wiggling. I feel it, I feel it all in the front of my shoulders. We're gonna come back and we're gonna take these weights top to bottom. You're gonna lean forward and you're just pressing those weights back. As you do that, we're not gonna rock the body forward. We're not gonna flick the wrists back so it is gonna look exactly like this with two hands right to the outside of your chair. No bending in the elbows. Take it forward. We're gonna go together, hug those abs in, press it back, release it forward so those weights end up right over the floor. Do not bounce those weights when they get to the back and then drop them forward. So lift, hold, release slow. I'm sure you are getting the idea for today. Lifting the weight, pausing, and then lowering against the pull of those weights back down. This is a little bit of shoulders. This is a little bit of triceps. Very good. Because you have the two groups of muscles here to help you with this weight. It is just a little bit, I don't wanna say easier, but the endurance is a little more capable here. This is not easy, but you are doing really good. We're gonna go for a little bit longer with this one. Squeeze those tricep muscles there in the back. So this whole back of the arm, those muscles are working. You have two more, bring it in. Last one. Set those weights down on the lap just for a second. They're not gonna go far. Give it all a little shake, check in with your wrists, make sure that they are nice and happy. Now we are gonna be coming into a tricep kickback. We are gonna be kind of working in that middle range. So you're gonna draw the elbow up, take it back, halfway in and back. So it's almost like instead of this big movement, we lose a lot of that weight right here in this front half. We're gonna be back in this back half. Squeeze those tricep muscles, keep those shoulders out of the ears. Both hands, if you need to take a break, you can start alternating. I will not keep you here long with this one. Shoot the chest forward. Go with me. Halfway in, all the way out. 10, good. Keep those elbows in close to the sides. Five, you've got this. Four, I'm staring down off towards the floor to keep my neck in line with the spine. Last one, and bring it in. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. All right, set those weights underneath the chair. You are almost there, home stretch. Just about, just about done. Handles, one more time. So we worked here at the top, we worked at the middle. We are gonna work down here at the bottom. It hits those muscles all in different areas. So you'll have a nice, good, strong developed, capable muscles throughout that entire system. If you do not have your A band, just take those arms forward and really focus on squeezing those hands together and open, good. It is not about the handles, it's about the press. When you push that together, you'll feel those high chest muscles. If you have your band, it's just a little bit easier to get there and it's also easier to do it with those wrists forward and flat. Take it forward and squeeze. 
leaning forward, but my abs are hugged in. My neck is right in line with my spine, so I'm not looking up, I'm not looking all the way down, just kind of right off to the center there, pressing down and together, letting my elbows come up and back. Same thing, pressing, releasing slow. I am now, I might've been going a little fast, but they're getting tired. Just tap back into it. Make sure that every single one of these is the right way. Press, release slow. Awesome job. Now, if you are doing this without your band and you are using your palms, take a break right now. And if you have your band, give me three more. Very good. Two. And last one. Beautiful job. Take that in. Oh, definitely warm. Now, we are all going to do that in and press. You have to find the work here. Feel these muscles engaging the open and the close right here. Squeeze those muscles, push those hands together. Good, hold. Go to your happy place. Hold, push all those hands all the way together. 10, nine, eight, five, four. Press those hands together. Three, hug those abs in. Two, one, release. That last one, you really had to force it to find the work there. Awesome job on getting that one done. I hope you did it the right way. You, those muscles are gonna be nice and strong, maybe a little bit sore. Going back to a little bit of a combination here. So you're gonna grab your hand weights. And the reason why we did that last exercise with no weights is that this one is gonna combine a little bit of shoulder and chest work together. And then we will do another one that combines chest and triceps. So the chest muscles are really getting their money's worth here today. Lean back into your chair, send those hips forward, and those arms can come a little bit wide, but the, the weights are just hanging out down here at the bottom. Even though you're back here, you're not slouching. We're straight through the spine. Abs are hugged in, up and together. Open and together. Very good. When you come together, start to give me a rotation of those weights, so side to side, up and down. Very good. Lower, side to side. Little bit bigger. So the lifting is the shoulders, the together is the chest. I know, it's wonderful. You're welcome. Very good. Five, hug those abs in, four, three, very good, two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful job there. Go ahead, give it a quick little rest, like I said, next exercise is going to be chest and triceps. So this is a great quick little break for those chest muscles where we're gonna be building up that endurance water here. If you need it, we're gonna take both of those weights, we're gonna take them together. And again, scoot those hips forward, touch the upper shoulders back into your chair, but your lower back is not dipping. Nice and strong. I still want you using your core here. Weights are gonna come together. Elbows come down to the sides. Weight, tap the chest, and we press it up. If you need to come off of the chair a little bit, you can. It's gonna take more core work, and I love that for you. <laughs> Straight up. Very good. 
six, five, four, three, two, last one. Open those weights. Elbows come down to the sides, press them up. Very good. 10, nine, and actually let's turn those sideways. Six, five, very good, hang in here. Four, three, two, push them up and out. Squeeze those arms muscles, one, back in, release them down. Amazing, amazing job. I want you to take one of these hand weights, set that underneath your chair, and we're gonna go back to these triceps and do them one more time with an exercise solo for them. You're gonna do right arm first, then the left arm, back to the right arm. You get the idea, here we go. Elbow comes up and over, you can support it from the front or from the back. Elbow up, bicep in towards the ear as much as you can, lower and press. Lower slow. Three more on this side. Two and one. Lower that down. Set your form here on the left. Same thing you can support from the back or from the front. Elbow up, bicep in. A little bit of power on the way up, slow on the way down. You're doing awesome. Three, two, and one. Switch it over to the right arm. Again, no break. 10 here. Very good, hug those abs in. Keep on this form. Last three for this side. Two and one. My little toes are tapping away. Hang in there if you feel this too. We are almost done. 10 here on the left. Eight, very good. Nice, good, tight stomach. Four. Three. Beautiful job. What happened here? I think I lost a little bit of volume. Take that weight underneath your chair. You are all done. Cross and open those arms. Give them a nice, good stretch. Open those hands out. We're gonna push the pinkies back without pushing the stomach forward. So no arching in the low back. If anything, keep it pulled in and tucked abs tight. Pinkies back, take them forward. Flip those hands over, thumbs back. Forward, pinkies back. And then thumbs back. You've got this. So kind of moving through the chest here, a little bit smaller and slower of a stretch. Hold those thumbs back, drop those arms, roll those shoulders here. Amazing job today. Roll it up and bring that left arm up. I'm gonna show you on this side first because I have the feeling I'm gonna crush the microphone on the right side. So gently guiding this elbow in and back. Fingertips are touching to the back muscles there. Not pushing the stomach forward. Stay tucked. A couple quick seconds here to catch and calm the breath. Use your breathing to relax the body. Take that down. And then same thing on this other side. Fingertips to the back, 
gently guide this in. I usually do not like to pull on a joint, so if it is uncomfortable here on the elbow, push from the front. Oh, very good. Take it on down and then go ahead, take this left arm across and open. See how that shoulder feels. Right arm across and open. Swing those arms one at a time up and back, focusing more on this bottom arm, stretching through the front of the shoulder. And then you can turn sideways in your chair or you can just reach down and grab the back of it if that's not enough of a stretch. Interlace those hands, roll those shoulders open, kind of not arching through the back, just lift the chest. You can lift the hands if you need to, or grab the back of your chair, roll the shoulders open, and stretch forward to get into these shoulders, into the chest, and then release it back. Nice, good deep breath in, and let that go. All done. Thank you for joining me for this workout. I hope that your body feels good and a little bit like a wet noodle. You did an awesome job. I have more workouts for you guys. Like I said, we have a whole design for this week. So make sure that you are subscribed so you do not miss legs and then our back and bicep day. You'll hit all those body parts. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Until our next workout, take good care of yourselves. Thank you.